Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Dark Chronicle, otherwise known as Dark Cloud 2. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I don't remember if we checked Eric out, and uh, a lot of you guys made a very good point and a very good observation. Uh, chalk it up to me being too tired or too involved into what I was saying at the time, um, but a lot of the stuff that we converted... A lot of the stuff here that we converted into these spectrumized crystals didn't really end up going into the weapon. If you uh, end up re-watching the last episode, if you didn't notice yourself, uh, like me, uh, even just throwing the spectrumized gear into the into the weapons, I forgot there's actual caps on all the the gear in the game. I just completely forgot. In Dark Cloud 1, there is caps, but not really for, like, magic. And I think... I think there wasn't even caps for like uh, like specific enemy weaknesses. Like, you know, if you were good against flying monsters or something like that. I don't think there was a cap for that. There was caps for your attack and there was caps for endurance and speed and uh, magic. I don't think like the actual attributes was a thing that we had to worry about. So my brain was just like, oh, we don't have to worry about this. And of course, we end up accidentally wasting a bunch of stuff and uh, whoops. At least I will never make that mistake again. Or, well, let's hope. The The downside is, essentially, to get around that, if you're curious, you have to spectrumize less. Because you can't... I don't think you can split these when you spectrumize more than one. In fact, let's try it out. Let's do two lightnings. Because, essentially, we're going to use this at some point, right? Yeah, it combines them both together, and now it's worth two synthesis points. And you can never split them back apart, right? You can synthesize and look at the status of them, and as you can see, it's six lightning, but yeah, overall, uh, you kind of run into that situation where uh, we can't get all the stats out of them in a in a weapon, which is kind of a shame. A little bit, but uh, we'll learn we'll learn as we go along here. Again, Dark Cloud 2 is a very different beast from Dark Cloud 1. There's a lot of uh, conveniences in Dark Cloud 1 that don't exist in Dark Cloud 2, and there's also a lot of conveniences in Dark Cloud 2 that don't, that don't exist in uh, Dark Cloud 1. Thus is the way of life. Thus is the way of sequels. They give us things and they take away things. All right, we do have things to sell, though. Speaking of things. And then we're going to go into Sindane, uh, Rainbow Butterfly Wood, and uh, try and get some more Geostones. Because Geostones are the way of life right now. We need more of them. And I feel like with Monica's weapon upgraded, we should be okay. Max's is not so hot, but, you know... It is the way of things. We'll level his as well. We'll probably go back to the underground water channel and level that up as well. Uh, but for now, I think this will suffice. Maybe. We'll see. Unless there's like a specific enemy that's like, you know what? I really need to be shot by Max's gun. This guy right here apparently is Donnie's dad. Who would have known? Seems like a good lad. Uh, all right. Oh! We hit the max. Oopsie daisies. Oh, there you go. Some free money. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. We got to make sure we use these treasure chest keys because they're definitely worth using here. All right. Sweet. Oh, you know what? We could just skip leveling Max's gear, can't we? At this point. Uh, no, don't do that. Go here. Yeah. His current gear is classic gun plus three. So two more levels. And then we can just break it down and maybe stuff it into a invention. If we go to our inventions currently right now, we can definitely look into this. Especially if we go onto the train, because we can buy things from... What's his face? I can't remember if it was a trumpet gun or the other one. I want to go with a uh, trumpet gun. I think trumpet gun might be the better one. I'm just going to go out there. I know there was a comment. Someone left a comment and they said which one was better, and I totally forgot which one is better. And, uh, my brain, my brain's going with trumpet gun. But another thing I want to do is get the energy pack. Oh! We can already get it? Hell yeah. Alright, uh, can we equip it, though, in this menu, or do we have to go to Cedric? I can't remember. Yeah, we have to go to Cedric. As you can see, there's clearly no way to do this. And, uh, the core is 0 of 12, and that core is basically the things you can stuff into the ride pod. No ranged weapons yet. Once you get the thing kitted out with, like, crazy bullshit, it's pretty nuts. 
I mean, it already is pretty nuts. It can pretty much carry you throughout the entirety of uh, the Rainbow Butterfly Wood, other than maybe if you run across, like, a flying monster. You could, like, go into one level and then, you know, do the whole thing as a ride pod, leave, come back, and just have no problems whatsoever. But that's no fun. That's too easy. All right, let's go to the station. Back to the station, my friends. Now, we could do this over in Palm Brinks as well, but I kind of find it a little bit easier since the station's right here. Then we can just go right inside. He's always in the very rear. Because I need a very specific item from you, sir. Uh, I need, oh, nine scraps of metal and one wind element, but thankfully, his pockets are deep. All right. Where is it? One wind elemental, please. For 60 Gilda. Sounds like a steal. And nine scraps of metal. Thank you, sir. Trust me, we'll be coming back to this guy a lot. <laughs> he is... He is too important. He has too many things. Honda is your go-to guy. For all things good. All right. Uh, give me that trumpet. One trumpet gun. Yeel. We're not going to use it just yet, though. We're going to level up Max's uh, gun to five, and then we're going to stuff it into the trumpet. I know it's Donnie's legendary baby, uh, but it's going to be taken apart and thrown into our gooder gun. Gooder. It's totally a word. All right. Um, first, we'll repair the robot even though we haven't been using them. And then upgrade Ride Pod. Hell yeah. Okay. Is this how we do this? Or is it not? I can't remember. Okay, I don't remember how you're supposed to equip this stuff. Maybe it was through the inventory. Shit. Oh, there it is. Energy pack. Yeah, okay. And then we just go... Aha, you pick it up. Wait, really? Hmm. Proved energy pack has more capacity. Shouldn't it just go in? Or is my core... Oh, wait, maybe I just need straight up more core. Maybe that means I've used up 12 of my core? Could that be it? Or my capacity is 50 of 60. There's also that. So that could be it, too. I wish you kind of gave me a number here. Maybe core... What is core 0, 012, then? Alright, my brain hurt. My brain hurt thinking too hard. Uh, okay. Go back to upgrade ride bod real quick. And just kind of gauge what we're doing. Oh, yeah, he sells barrel cannons. Ooh. Shield kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heart component. Assemble your own heart. I mean, robot. I guess we just get this. Okay. Well, we have a few goals ahead of us. I apologize for taking so long to get back into the uh, the thick of things, but I like to kind of plan ahead a little bit. Not too far ahead, though. Let's not go too crazy. All right, let's try this one out. If this goes poorly, uh, not my fault. <laughs> not my fault. Uh, you gonna load? Like a weird audio pop there too. I don't know. It's like a click. I don't know what's going on with that. All right, here we are. Oh god. Oh great. Fire and elemental. Uh. Oh, he's actually weak to. Okay. Wait. Do we do we kill him with mon? I mean, I guess she put all the effort in. And there's uh, a dude for a ride pod right back there. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't hit me with the sonic waves. Oh, wait, I feel like that we can take a picture of this guy. Also, I just used my armband, but whatever. I feel like this guy should have a thing for us, but maybe not. All right, let's, let's go wallop him. We really do got to love up the ride pod. It's... We have some pretty cool gauntlets we can get for it now. 
we can just beat the crap out of some monsters. We could have gone ranged, but I think that going for the invention is the better choice. I don't even know what I'm engaged in combat with. Things and stuff, I guess. Uh, on the bright side, at least... Oh, God. I I'm not too worried about spending... God, hold on. Concentration mode. Okay, right, here we go. I'm not too worried about spending those crystals earlier. Because, again, we kind of get them like candy. A lot of them we can just get from doing the underground water channel and just, like, running around and getting chests, honestly. Which is a nice convenience. Really not too worried about getting hit a bunch as this uh, machine here. Poor Steve, getting beat up. It's his fault that Cedric's like right outside this freaking forest. I do love the idea though that Max just comes back every time and he's just like, Yo Cedric, I broke it again. And he's like, ah oh, Max, I can't say no to you. You're a good guy. <laughs> broke, broke Steve again, eh? What's this, the 200th time? Ooh, nice. That worked out. Again, we want to get this gun to another level. Oh, man. It's still not a lot of abs, is it? Oh, God. Ooh. It's like no damage whatsoever. I do appreciate the invulnerability frames. Kills me every time. Oh god, please. Oh no, he's clapping his hands. Oh, we broke our gun. Okay, we almost died there too. Jeez. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, to kill a monster when you're, you know, your gun's unloaded. Ooh, we got him. All right, how much is that? That's got to be a lot, right? Uh, never mind. I just is not think about that. <laughs> There's like 200 chests in there. You gotta expect at least 100 of them to be some sort of bullshit. Oh, crap, yeah. I don't think we got the fan here. I don't know why. I keep hearing, like, a click. I hope it's not in the actual feed for you guys. I apologize if it is. Hopefully it's not my Elgato dying. Or it's the PS4 doing weird bullshit. Who knows? I don't know. Hold on. Give me a sec. All right. I rebooted the Elgato. Maybe it'll help it. I don't know. No, I'm still getting it. I don't know. Maybe it's just my headphones. I sure hope it's not a thing. There, I have to like replace my Elgato. Ugh. Although I will eventually have to get the 4K one at some point. Oh God, please. I just realized that you get 360 blocking with this thing. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm getting my booty kicked in this run. Uh, I guess we just keep going for... Yeah, there you go. It just works out really perfectly for us. Just, like, going for these Humaras. So close, though. So close to leveling. The question is, do we just build it up? I don't think we should, though. I think the trumpet gun's gonna be fine. Let's get that little boost of experience. Or, uh, attack bonus, anyway. Oh, God. The wub wubs. This guy's playing Skrillex over here. Oh, crap. We killed Steve! You killed Steve! Well, I mean, that just happened. On the bright side, we do have refuel. Yes, yes. All right. Back at it again. Ain't no dubstep gonna kill us. Oh, God. Please stay away from me, kind sir. What happens when we don't have upgraded arms? All righty. The problem with trying to upgrade everything is that you have nothing. I didn't even read what that gave me. Hopefully something good. I was literally not paying attention whatsoever. I was just like, oh, yep, yep, we're good. 
Oh, there we go. That's what it was. See, I was asking the other the other time, I was like, there has to be an item in this game that gives you attack up, right? And it's that exact item we just picked up. It's called the Attack Crystal. Oh my god, really? What the hell is with these delayed delayed hits, yo? Kick it. Uh, get them. I love that there's a kick animation. I never use it. I never use it. But it's hilarious to me. It's pretty good, though. If you can actually, like, connect with an enemy, knock their ass on the ground, that shit's great. Also, we still haven't gotten the Giorama Stone from here. On the right side, we're not, like, so overpowered that this is, like, a cakewalk. Like, I still feel like I'm getting my shit pushed in every freaking time I play this. It's difficult, bro. Difficult. I know that Flotsam still has his crew hanging out. to be a little more safe but you know it's me <laughs> it's me i'm just gonna get my ass handed to me oh my god four slices of bread thank you game bless blessed be thy game oh god please oh nice shot nice shot so i gave us level four right Oh, God damn it! You guys ever wonder why in these games that you need level 5 weapons to, to level them up? You should just think of the publisher's name. Huh? Huh? That's why they thought of fives! Totally. You heard it here first, folks. Big Brain Akabane. With the level 5 knowledge. I just wish I could interview a level five dev and just tell, ask them like really stupid questions. Like, did you, did you name, or did you make it so when you level stuff up, or when you want to break it down and spectrumize it, it has to be level five because you guys are called level five. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> just be like, That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I'm like, but think about it though. Think about it with your brain. You may not have noticed it, but your brain did. Huh? Uh, why can't we use anything here? Uh, do we do weapon destroying? Let's just do exploding. It was poison. That's okay with me. Poison seems to also drop your HP down. All of that for some hay, hey? Luckily, we got four stacks of bread. We have crap tons of antidote. Man, this really does feel like a jungle. Holy crap. Damn it, we missed like a whole bunch of shit on the bottom right. And so, of course, we're gonna have to run all the way back up. Ugh. Ride pod, we need you to get, you need, we need the ride pod to get new legs. That's what we need. Poor ride pod has fallen behind. All right, now we have what we need. Oh yeah, we went down here before and we just couldn't do anything. Now we have the magical twig. So we can unlock all the mimics. Uh, let's probably do all this crap first though. Oh man. This game does not like me, does it? Is my repair kit. Actually, what do you repair this thing with? I forget. Oh, you can actually activate the status for the core, which is weird. Uh, what? Do oh, there we go. Oh, it's just a regular repair powder. It just does half. Okay. I probably saw this earlier, but, you know, it's been weeks since I've actually repaired the right bot on my own. All right, I think that's the last enemy. Hell yeah. The yellow points on the map are gates. Use a gate there to go to the next floor. Get on the same. Oh, th thanks, game. 
Actually, I think one of these has the map in it, too. Yeah, at least we got some sturdy rocks. That's some free money. Or, well, money that we don't have to spend, rather. Yep. God, God damn it. All right. Let me pause it while I go to the other side. Save you guys the hassle. Hey, we made it. Let's go to the next floor. Well, actually, instead of doing that, let's go back to... What's his face and see if we can upgrade the right pot. I don't think we have enough for the core. But regardless, let's go talk to Cedric. Hey, Paul Eiding, I need assistance. Paul! All right, sir. Uh, please upgrade my ride pod. Damn it. <laughs> my ride pod air is not able to be upgraded yet. No. Unless... Hold on. Yeah, none of this actually says what it is. Look at a Hulk smash of 50. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Huh. All right, well, repair the robot. Thank you. Should repair the arms too, right? Dude, that is so freaking strong to have Cedric just chilling like a villain. Because he's like right outside the freaking dungeon, dude. Makes it so worthwhile. All right, Eric. I know what you have. I don't want your gunpowder. <laughs> I hit the button too quick. I know what you have, though. Explosives. That's right. Thank you, sir. Alright, let's go get our loot boy over here. Add to party. Man, that'd be so great once we can use our freaking trumpet gun, damn it! Again, we can throw the Georama Stone in there, but it's kind of the same rule set as Dark Cloud 1. Kind of keep going till you get to the... Um... <clears throat> the roadblock. As I like to call it, where we cannot go any further. Uh-oh. Blue Seal, we have to use Max. Shit. Hmm. And then it kind of splits off here, though I think we just keep going straight. I think this is one of those areas in the game. Where it's walled off by some... Whatchamacallit? I don't even know. Some weird magic. Um... You think we can do this? Then we ought to save it then, if we're just gonna be playing as Max. Although I think that gives us access to the right pod. Considering Max uses the right pod. Never forget to save before you leave home. Oh, bleh. I keep forgetting you can just you can go straight into the rainbow butterfly wood from your menu. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm right here. I could just walk in. There's no reason to. <laughs> yeah, I ought to equip the trumpet gun right when I go. Alright, Max, it's on you. We've already done the Monica one. It's funny how they give you Monica first, but Max second. Blue seal. This floor appears to have a blue seal on it. Monica has been chosen by the blue at Namilia. You can't switch to her. What a shame. Oh, I'm a pixie. No, Max, you're not. You fool. Uh, you know who is a fool, though? Me, because I can't remember where anything is. There we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. How's it fire? All right, fire's like a gun. Yeah. Regular old gun. What's the uh, what's the damage output on this thing? Oh god, it's only 15. Really? No way. What's the uh, what's the other gun? I guess I could have hit status there, but 13. Uh oh. Well, you know that's a problem. I mean, it really is, like, no difference in terms of damage output. It's all on you, Max. Ow. Ow. All right. Pixies. Pixies. 
Yo, these guys yeet these things across the goddamn map. Well, color me horrified. Oh yeah, we're using the crappy gun. Well, you know what? It's probably for the best. All right, last time I picked yellow, and then we didn't get the right the right thing, so we're gonna pick yellow again. No! Never picking yellow again. I'm never picking yellow again. It's dead to me. Yellow's not a real color. No matter what you tell me, yellow is complete horseshit, and you know it. Fuck, it's the sec it's second time I miss out on that weapon. It's like free attack, bro. It's free attack. It's free real estate. You can just do like a uh, unstable synthesis or something and just toss that shit in something, get a little bit of extra attack. I don't know. I don't know how it should work, but you know. Ah, it's terrible. Also, you know what else is terrible? Getting hit in the face by fireballs. Bastards. I know what they've done. Oh god, here we go. Mimic City incoming. Alright, alright. I'll take some repair powder. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Max, that's not what I wanted. Oh. Max is like, you want to do a backflip, my friend? Go to self. Don't. Don't flip the left stick, even when charging, because sometimes, before he starts charging, that's like the initiation phase for if uh, the game is detecting whether or not you're inputting anything or not. If you're not inputting anything, then you're fine. But if you're me, you're always freaking hitting the left stick, because, you know, play Dark Souls, I freaking try and s sidestep everywhere. Yeah, Dark Souls, Demon Souls remake got announced. Hell yeah, brother. I'll play the crap out of that. Probably gonna play on the channel too. I have a full playthrough of Dark Souls on the channel. And then, uh, never really cared for Dark Souls 2. And I never finished Dark Souls 3. I finished Dark Souls 2, I just didn't like it. Um, wasn't my game. Wasn't my type of game. I really liking. I did like uh, Dark Souls 3, I just never finished it. Bloodborne, though, is the best video game ever made, so... There's that. Although it's not my favorite game ever made. There's a difference. There's a difference between uh, my favorite game and the best game ever made. Best game ever made is uh, is Bloodborne. And then uh, my favorite game ever made is Final Fantasy Tactics. Because uh, Lord knows that game is uh, kind of a disaster in terms of some of the, game the gameplay mechanics. But it's okay, I still love it. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get the free XP. Oh no, don't do me like this. Don't do me like this, comrade. All right, you know what, fine. Oh yeah, that was a lot of XP. Oh my God. Ooh, these are pixies are kind of like good XP for the gun. Sort of. You know what the best thing is about these sealed zones? You can still get freaking Georama stones. That is so huge. Because before, it would be like, all right, the moment I get the key, I am out of here, you know? Unless you had a powerful enough version of your character, but it's like, you know what? The moment I, I get what I want, I'm out of here. Screw the chests. Screw fighting all the monsters. Although, typically for me, it would always be the last monster that drops the thing I need to actually get out. But that, that typically is always how I felt about Dark Cloud 1, and at least with Dark Cloud 2, they're like, alright, we get it. It's kind of a dumb mechanic to force only one character to be able to get at Lamilia. And on top of that, having to watch that same cutscene a hundred times over. So they kind of slimmed it down, and I kind of like that. It's actually a really nice plus there. Where no matter what, if you're playing as Monica or Max, and if you're doing a sealed zone, you're at least getting something out of it. God damn it, I keep breaking my weapons, and that's like a lot of abs. I'm pretty sure it's like 10% of your abs are just gone. I gotta buy more of these uh, armbands. Or not armbands, but repair powders for my guns. I don't know why, why did my brain say armband? I don't know. Oh, 
here we go. All right, you little shit. All right, you little shit. Here we go. Red box. Red box. Let's go. God fucking shit. God damn it. Fuck. God damn it. I hate this game. I hate this game. This game is the worst. It is actually evil. It is the embodiment of hell. Uh, freaking shit. Fucking. Uh, God damn it, dude. I forget what the devil coin actually does, but I'm sure it was something cool that we'll never get to see now because this game's an asshole. God damn it. It played me like a damn fiddle. Oh, here we go. Here, give me some devil. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What is it going to be? All right, have my, my gun's HP. Okay, cool. <laughs> God damn it, dude. My bad luck continues in, in the sequel just forever. Oh god, oh! <laughs> I can't believe that, dude. It's a coin that time. That's actually valuable. The coin is so valuable. I think you can get them later from Donnie or something, but even still, I'm just like, come on. This early in the game and we're just like losing out on coins and shit. The game should not show me what the other one is and then I'll be eternally happy. Just don't show me. That's like the worst thing you can do to a gambler, dude. It's like uh, you're playing poker or something and someone has like the flush or the nuts or whatever it is. You're like, yo, dude, I got, I got this on you. And you're like, ah, shit. I got literally nothing. <laughs> it's just like, God damn it. Uh, what are the chances, my friend? What are the chances? Alrighty, let us proceed to the next floor. And by that, I mean... Let's wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've been enjoying the series so far. I know I haven't. Uh, uh, how dare they give me these, like, uh, freaking terrible drops. Uh, 1 out of 5. Never again. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.